I know you have been waiting for some more candy. Let's just get started. Start spraying. All right, everything has been prepared. Everything has been covered. And uh, all I did is just scuffed it down with uh, 600 grit sandpaper and it's ready to go. So let's just start applying those five coats of candy. Let's see how this turns out. Hopefully it'll turn out real nice. Let's go. All right, if you guys uh, remember where we left off, this is our candy mix. Let's just uh, pour it in the cup. This is mix 411 and uh, start applying it. All right, these are three coats right now. Remember, we applied five coats in the car. So I'm gonna let it set. I'm waiting 15 minutes in between each coat. So I'm just gonna wait for 15 minutes, come back, uh, finish it off with two more coats.
Here we go, five coats. Now I'm gonna wait like about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes for it to dry and uh, start applying about three coats of clear. That'll be it, it's on the inside. Uh, maybe two, three coats of clear and uh, we'll be good. Let me show it to you with the light on so that you can see the metal flake. There it is my friends. Hope the camera is capturing the metal flake and yes I did turn off the light it's a lot better to see if uh, something's missing but everything seems to be perfect all right let me just uh, I don't think the light will reach all the way over here no no I ain't gonna reach but uh, let me just uh, let it set, apply my two to three coats clear, and we'll be good. Another thing, real quick, you saw me how I cleaned the gun so that I can uh, start applying the clear. I did use uh, just regular lacquer thinner, clean it up, it's ready to go. I got my new cup so that I can start mixing the clear and start applying it.
There it is, three coats of clear. We're getting close, we're getting real close to painting the body. Um, it came out really nice. Really, really nice. Let me show you to turn off the light and show it to you with the with the light on so you can see the the effect of the metal flake but there it is real nice there it is with the lights off hopefully the camera is capturing the metal flake came out real nice really really nice let me get you all the way over here hopefully the light won't turn off I have a real short extension cord but trying to get you the best uh, footage of the metal flake it gives you a real nice finish when you apply metal flake because it's gonna just pop it's gonna stand out but there it is let me bring you over here really nice Let me turn on the light and uh, finish it up. I've received several emails uh, wanting to know when do I remove or when do I unmask the paint job. I usually wait six to eight hours. That's uh, the time frame that I have uh, noticed that nothing's going to happen. So six to eight hours is your best bet for re, uh, unmasking it okay if you do it too early you might peel off this paint if you do it too late it's going to be really hard and you are going to peel the paint so six to eight hours is the time frame so we're getting a little bit closer to painting the body of the of the lowrider i'm going to wait about four to five days about a week for these doors and uh, hood and trunk to dry, I'm going to put it back in the car. I'm going to mask it up and uh, start uh, sanding the, the entire car so that I can apply the candy to the entire car. Remember, this car is going to have some uh, graphics. It is going to have, I believe, some um, gold leaf and some silver leafing. Okay? Stay tuned for that because that's going to be interesting. That's going to be something that's that you will going to want to see. All right. And this will be it. This will be it for this video. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. Press that like button. Hit that uh, notification bell. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And I'll see you next weekend. So that uh, we can continue with this low rider build. All right. Thank you. Stay safe. Like always, God bless.